Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Stepping in Freedom podcast, where it's all about helping you create the results you want in your life and business through intentional thinking. Listen, there has never been an, a more important time to manage your thoughts than the season that we're in. We are still in the middle of a global pandemic where we are required to stay at home. And I don't know about you, but that is causing all kinds of thoughts for me. <laughs> so if the same is happening for you and it's keeping you from continuing to move forward, then this is an amazing time for you to join the rest of the women who have been pouring into the Freedom Academy. Every single week you get coaching and I am trained to help you look at your thoughts, thoughts that probably aren't serving you and thoughts that are keeping you from actually continuing to move forward in this season. So I just wanted to say that I usually don't say that at the beginning of the podcast, but today I just wanted to put that in because this week we're talking about the one key to overcome procrastination. And that one key has everything to do with what you're thinking in the moment. So when we allow ourselves to sit on the couch instead of work out or, you know, um, eat something instead of eat something we, we know that is not in alignment with, you know, our health goals, um, what happens is we are not paying attention to the moment. And the mo in each moment, there's a thought that you have that is making it okay to sit on the couch instead of work out. There's a thought that you're having that makes it okay to eat the fried chicken instead of the grilled chicken salad. There's a thought that you're having that's making it okay to sit and allow your mind to forecast all of the worst case scenarios. And this happens you know, naturally for all of us, because our mind, when we are surrounded by so much uncertainty, so much, so many things just are unknown. It is our brain's job to scan for danger and then to offer support. And the way our brain offers support is usually to sit and do nothing. And so in order to overcome that tendency or that pull, and you may feel that pull even stronger now to procrastinate, you have to be able to master the moment. What are you thinking in the moment? I'll give you a story of a client that I have. She and I have worked together over the last year to take her business from a dream to actually having double digit clients. And now she has a four year old who's at home and she was telling me, Cleidra, I can't get anything done now. There's no way that I can make it happen. Those were her thoughts. Because like you, her situation has changed. And so I want you to think about yourself as I'm talking about this client. So her thinking was causing her to procrastinate. So what we were able to do together is look at what time does she still have? And so it's two hours a day that she has, 14 hours a week. And so we were able to change her thoughts around her son being home all day so that she didn't spend this entire we don't know how much longer time wondering how can I not feel guilty as a mom because I can't be there for him and how can I not feel guilty because I'm not growing my business. And so if you find yourself in this emotional whirlwind, then this is the time to get help to manage your thoughts. That's the power of the intentional thought work that I do with my clients. But if this is enough for you, that's great. Just keep in mind, I want you to wake up to and be very present to the fact that when you find yourself doing a habit like overeating, over drinking, over Netflixing, over, you know, any of the overs, then I want you to stop and ask yourself, what am I thinking to make it okay to do this in the moment? And that thought usually is something about it's not going to matter. It's not enough. Why should I care right now? This is too much. It's always some theme of inadequacy. And I want you to wake up to the fact that that thought is not serving you. <laughs> All right. That's what I have for you this week. But listen, this is an incredible time for you to upgrade your skills with how you cope with challenges. Because challenges don't go away. They just get a new name. And right now, the challenge is COVID-19, but challenges will continue to come in our life. 
And so I would love to have you in the Freedom Academy. We are meeting every single week. The difference is it's not just one way like I'm talking to you now. You actually get to ask me questions. You get to bring your challenges to me just like my client brought her challenge of now having to homeschool. You get to bring your challenges of being home all day. You know, whatever you are not having the ability to overcome if you're overeating or if you're procrastinating too much, I can help you with this. And this is the perfect time for you to invest in upgrading your skills when you don't have the competition of your usual life. All right, that's what I have for this week. It has been a pleasure to talk to you for another week. And I will talk to you again one week from now. All right, enjoy the rest of this new day. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.